You guys are in for a real treat because we have Alejandro here in studio and you're probably wondering why. Well, I'm going to see if I can teach someone that has no artistic ability whatsoever if they can paint a decent Bob Ross landscape for their very first time. And to prove Ollie has no artistic ability, <laughs> this is actually a pot she made all by herself. Is this really the best you can do? No, today is going to be a lot better. Okay, I'm hoping so. <laughs> the painting we're going to do is a painting that Nick Hankins taught me in my very first CRI class. The only difference we're going to make to it, Ollie, is... I'm going to add more pinks and blues to this one. And to make everything fair for everyone at home, we're going to be using the Bob Ross Master Kit. This is all the supplies we're going to use, so uh, here we go. No, no, don't throw that one! Oh, that one's sorry. an expensive painting! <laughs> <laughs> I copied you. Welcome all you awesome people. Ollie Hondra, say hello. Hello everybody. In this video, we're gonna see if Ollie can paint a decent Bob Ross landscape with a little bit of coaching and guidance and advice from me. And I'm gonna show her here on my canvas, but it's not about what I paint. It's about what Ollie can create, which is why I've got the GoPro here. When I give her pieces of advice, I'm gonna to try to show you guys on her canvas, and we're gonna see if Ollie can dominate a painting. You think you can? Yes, I got this. All right, let's do it. I like the enthusiasm. Here we go. <laughs> uh, Ollie doesn't know I'm recording this. She actually left to go get herself some True Release because she's actually kind of nervous to paint for all of you guys. So uh, do her a favor and leave her a nice comment. But uh, I think I hear her coming, so here we go. So the very first thing Ollie we're gonna put on is Magic White, and I just like to put it on a paper plate and then apply it a nice thin coat across the canvas. So here we go. It's just like applying primer for foundation makeup. I guess that's one way to look at it. So you wanna make sure you work it all in. You're just doing basic strokes, so work it. Like here's blank spots here, blank spots there. We're gonna really, really work it. Watch, like work it. Like get it in there, get oh, it in there. Oh, like that, yeah, get okay. It in there. And then long strokes long strokes oh, really work it in there. like that we, yeah we want to push this into the canvas there you go okay so i just learned that the sounds are different when the paint is on the canvas so you have to listen for the sounds to uh make sure that it's covered completely all right looks like you got a good foundation so uh time to break out the palette and start working on the sky so here we go all right so we're gonna take some color ollie and okay. we're just gonna pull it down into a nice thin strip just like this for basic it's okay if we still have white on the brush because you wanted that baby blue. And we're gonna tap that into the canvas, or sorry, into our mixing palette here so we get a nice even application. And all I want you to do is just do some easy crisscross strokes, just like this, and start at the top, okay? Okay. Very, very smooth. And then as we come down, you're just gonna start adding those same strokes, all right? That's all we're gonna do. Okay. All right, what are you learning? Um, I'm learning that you really have to focus on the X's or the crosses. Don't do use strokes. Uh huh. So you want to do X's or crosses. Otherwise, you'll probably have like peaks and valleys like these colors. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what we're going to do next is work on clouds. We're only going to do like one or two clouds to keep it simple. For new painters, they struggle. So and that's because their paint doesn't stick to their canvas. So we're going to take a little bit of the liquid white and mix it with our titanium white, okay? And what that's gonna do is it's gonna make it just a little more creamy, almost like the consistency of, I don't know, like a loose peanut butter, okay? And that's gonna make it easy to apply a cloud. Uh-oh, we have a painting war wound, Alejandra. Yes. Owie, it's Owie. <laughs> Fill the brush. All right, Ollie's up to the, the cloud part. This is make or break for a lot of people. Wiggle. No, push, you're not, wig not, you're not drawing zigzags. Push the brush in so the, the bristles bloom. There you go. Wiggle. Yep. Get a little more paint on there. Okay, so down and down. Yep. And then wiggle. All right. And then and, down. And then start like right there, okay. So painting with just the corner of your brush, start whisking it like you're making pancake batter or whisking an egg, okay? And then flip the brush over, there you go. You're only worried about the top part of the cloud. Whisk. Whisk. Okay, so Ollie doesn't understand what whisking means, even though <laughs> so she says that she cooks. So I'm gonna hold her hand and show her. So this is a good example for all of you out there. All right, put your hand up here. Here we go, I'm gonna hold it with you. Okay, we're gonna just paint with the tip of the brush and we're gonna whisk. We're gonna whisk. We're gonna come down, we're gonna go up, we're gonna flip the brush over. Here we go. Here we 
There we go. No, 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 circular motions. Oh yeah, okay. Circular motions, there you go. Very lightly, very lightly. And pink, okay. Yeah. And loose and free, okay. loose and free, okay. loose and free, <laughs> loose and free, Ooh, loose I'm and free. Ooh, I'm doing arm weight. Oh, there that you feels go. good. Oh, okay, ready? Loose and free, soft, there you go. All right, what did we learn about a cloud? We learned that you have to use ginger strokes. Very, very Ginger <laughs> strokes? <laughs> very, very soft. Okay. You, can, you have to be very careful. It's all about pressure. Yes. Yeah. Very, very soft. It makes a huge difference on how your cloud can stand yes. out. Okay. Good girl. Thank you. You're going to come up, come make on. a peak. We're not making triangles now. We're not making triangles. You're trying to have a little bit of a ridge to it. You have to go like this. If you want. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what you said, don't do triangle, <laughs> and I do one. <laughs> it's a perfect triangle. Sorry. All right, grab okay. more paint. We can fix it. Okay. So I was really thinking about teaching people personally how to do painting, mm -hmm. like one-on-one -on -one sessions, <laughs> but Alejandra is breaking my spirit. <laughs> what do you have to say for yourself, Ollie? It's a little harder than... I thought <laughs> take it a little longer. <laughs> Two hours later. All right, we're coming up to the hardest part, which is snow on your mountain. So we're gonna take our color here, which already mixed for us. We're gonna pull it flat and we're gonna cut off a ridge diagonally just like that, okay? And what that allows us to do is get this roll of paint and come up here and start adding snow. So let me show you that. Tell them what you just told me. I messed up a couple times, so I have a couple more ridges, so I don't know what it's gonna look like. Well, we're gonna find out, so here we go. All right, Ollie, show us what you got with the snow here. Let's do it, let's do it, you got this. You got this. Light touch, light touch. Hey, that wasn't too bad. All right, yeah. that's pretty good. So this is our shadow color now that I mixed up. So every highlight needs a shadow. So it's the same thing, except now we're going to us. And now you'll probably actually find this might be a little easier because most people, or some people, have an easier time pulling towards their body rather than going away, all right? <gasps> Show people what you can do. Okay. All right, add the swoop for the angle. Make the paint break. Be one with the paint. It's not bad, it's not bad. I angled a little bit more, right. but there's a gap. Finish in there, finish in there, don't worry. So just start here and then go like that? Yeah, and make a nice little valley that connects, but you need to add light pressure and let the paint grab and don't add too much into it. You got this, very light. Hey, there you go. Oh, this, See good. how much lighter that was? But now go back over this gingerly, okay. but you gotta like turn the knife up. up. To, okay. to create a connection between these two. <laughs> All right, so you're breaking me. <laughs> I thought this was gonna be an easy video and it's turning out to be an extremely hard video, but on to the next and final step of our mountain. So we're gonna push these mountains back by fading the bottom of the mountain, okay? And that's gonna create a nice hazy horizon line. And all we do is we're going to tap at the base of our mountain and follow the angle of our mountain, okay? Start with your white first and then work on your shadow side, okay? And then okay. the more you tap, the more it fades, all right? There's Were you paying many... attention over there? Yeah, I was. I was actually watching you do it. Okay. You weren't doing this though. You weren't doing that. Oh, okay, yes, I forgot. <laughs> Too many strokes, I can't remember. Your angles are your own angles. <laughs> Stop looking at mine. <laughs> Stop, look, stop looking over there. Your painting is right here. All right, well, we got through our mountains pretty good. Why don't you come on over here, Allie? We started this video at nine. It is uh, now 11.30. So <laughs> Ollie is probably one of the hardest people I've ever had to teach paint. <laughs> so hard, in fact, that we only got a little bit through the painting, which we're gonna have to call it quits here. But Alejandra, why don't you tell me what did you think was easy and what was hard about doing a sky, clouds, and mountains? So I think that the clouds were probably the easiest. Well, obviously the sky is the easiest part, but the clouds were easier. 
Um, I think just applying the different strokes and pressures and knowing which ones to apply. Is Your clouds hardest. actually came out pretty good. They actually yeah. look like real clouds. We only we only kept it to two clouds because I figured that would be easiest. But you can see how you got different densities and different fluffs and different crowns and you can actually see through some parts of your clouds but you struggled with your mountains a lot and most of your mountains became triangles yeah that was really difficult to you know the pressure and the angles and like the wrist movements that you have to do all right so what about what about doing snow was difficult so the most difficult part about the snow was applying the right um, angle and then the soft touch yeah, you so, you had a really tough time because you caked on a lot of a lot of snow on your highlight side and on your shadow side. Although on your shadow side, you did a lot better, and I feel like that's because you could easily pull to you yeah. to where you didn't have to lay the knife as hard. Because when you push away, you're pushing usually more with pressure. You also really, really, really struggled with laying your knife flat almost every time. And when yeah. you do that, you're exposing so much of the paint which is why you got these really caked on spots. Your knife is already flat that it was just like pushing essentially butter on toast. You just want real fast. Yeah, that was the hardest part. But... Well, I can easily say this broke me. <laughs> I was thinking of teaching one-on-one -on -one lessons, but after this, I don't know, I might just quit painting. But uh, I mean, it was kind of fun. I think we might do a part two of yeah. this if people are interested. I don't know. I really want to finish this and see how you can actually do, but I did not think this was going to take two and a half hours to do a sky, two clouds, and a mountain ridge. <laughs> You're a piece of work. Part two, part two, part two. <laughs> I, <don't> know, <laughs> no. I think we call it quits there. Thanks for watching. Peace. Actually, you you do the sign off. You do the sign off. I'm going to stand okay, over here. Look at camera. Thank you for coming. <laughs> He's tired. So we'll do part two.